What's up guys, Fury TV here, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos on a daily basis. Game, play every single hand, because you guys sit there, don't play a hand. Uh, never mind. It's a dangerous game, this, this table is very dangerous. Unfortunately, he's right, isn't he? I mean, you, you know, look at Tomer and, and get, all right, let's be honest, they haven't got cards, but they're not going to give any value. We're just looking for spots. Rob, Leon raised this time with his Queen 8 to 3,000. Rob insta calls to King 9 of hearts. Good spot there for Albert to squeeze, but he didn't. Flats with Ace, Jack of hearts, Sam, big sigh. No decision, Franken. Right? Oh, I would, I would I say know. that there is a decision for, in Ankin's mind. With Queen Deuce against these players. Uh, a move, uh, well, he can try it. It's not going to get through. Look, if you're Ankin right now, you think the deuces are live. I say you're between calling and raising here. <laughs> I was scared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like okay. <laughs> so at the moment, <laughs> Albert's in front. <laughs> Is Leon or Rob going to outflop him? <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> Rob has got 120,000. Albert is about to double up. Well, look at Leon. I, 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 I would not be surprised if Rob ends up winning money in this pot. How about that? How much has Leon got? 40,000. Surely Albert's just... They're all going all in. They're all going to get it in right now. Leon is not folding. And now Rob Rob must re-raise. Yeah. There's a big side pot here. Now if it comes oh queen. God. Can you imagine? Oh, sorry, whatever. Yeah. Can I raise? Leon got to pay for this. I don't, I'll tell you what. Queen or eight, what do you say? Leon takes... A triple up. It's amazing, isn't it? Like, I, I'm going to guess that Albert hasn't played against uh, Leon and Rob. I mean, it's easy for people watching this to go, oh, well, he's got the nuts. He, he has to raise in this spot. But in actual fact, slow playing against these two aggressive players is probably the best to get it all in on the turn. So so Leon's actually got 30k back. Thank you. Got changed. What, what does he assume that Rob's got? Because Rob wanted to, to, to raise. It's five checking the dark. I mean, yeah, Leon's check blind. You know, Rob, I, I think the bet. Rob could have had ace queen with the ace of hearts. <laughs> 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 Jack, I give you a chance. Thank you. <laughs> I just bet five. <laughs> I bet that. Oh, He's checked already. <gasps> oh my God, Leon's caught the queen it, on the river. It, it was nailed on. It was. I, I felt it. This did y'all, did you, anybody else oh feel that? Did anybody else no. feel that? So horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, gracious oh, 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 man. Just call the river. I, I called the river, you know why? Because he gave me a chance. Gentlemen. He gave me a chance, I can't, he gave me a chance. Rob, bet, Rob must have bet blind on oh the river God. and Leon called before with the last the nuts, card. With the nuts. No, no, he called <laughs> before the <laughs> queen bet. I would have called anyway. I would have called anyway. I know. He's shell shocked. He screwed anyway. Is that around 450K? <laughs> Still plenty of chips at this 5k, 10k level. 10k big blind ante. Raises with the jacks under the gun to 25k. And Heath has sixes behind him. Folds those sixes. Joseph Simonich calls on the button with the King Nine. Tom Vogel saying in the small mind. Vogel song, I should say. As he cool. Announced his name for us late yesterday. Cool. Makes the call. You're mis Carroll mispronouncing the Tom then too. <laughs> you gotta do it in his accent. It sounds a lot cooler. Paul. How about this? King Queen Nine, top two pair for Charlie Carroll. Bottom two pair for That's Tom Vogel song. And top, top, and bottom. top and bottom <laughs> for Joseph Simonich. 
Jonas with Jax and the gut shot. on Joseph with those kings and nines sees a lead from the small line with two calls He's thinking what is going on here two hearts on the flop no hearts in anybody's hand oh. no respect <laughs> no respect <laughs> the vocal song says <laughs> All four hands in that weird spot between wanting to protect their hand and wondering if they're beat already. <laughs> Jack 10 could be in any of these players' hands, so even the top two is not completely sure of the value of his hand right now. The turn is the eight of clubs. With 175,000. Tom putting out a much heftier bet, trying to thin this field a little bit. The one player who's drawing dead leads for 175K. Now it's time to fold the jacks. Be a really cool spot for the jacks to just put in a massive race. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> it's like, uh, you guys probably Do you don't have, have jack, jack 10, right, so. Right. By really cool, I mean somewhat suicidal play. <laughs> Always rooting for it. the three players. Yeah. But great entertainment. Lay down there by Joseph. Understatement with the two hearts on the board, too, just to be able to fold top and bottom like that. Five of diamonds on the river. 600K in the pot. Vogelsong reaches for chips again. It's 450K. The call from Carol. He'll show the better two pair. <laughs> the sigh of relief from Joseph, who made the excellent lay down with the kings and nines. Bulls off. He never folds. Oh, okay, but I mean, Alexi, he's full of bluffs. Yeah, you've lost your head there, there, Gerald. Um, very peculiar fold again. Like 99.9% .9 sure the graphics are not wrong. Javier in the hijack, ace king. Raising up Josh with nines on the button. Flicks in the call. Alexia jumps in from the small arm with the eight nine. Webster with six seven off in the big blind. Closing the action to take it four way. Five, six, seven, flop. Alexi flopping the straight. Webster flopping top two. 
the other two missing. But Josh, of course, with missing with an overpair and a gut shot. And, uh, what are we going to see here, Middy? I mean, we assume Javier checks. Josh was going to bet this, right? What we're going to see here, James, is no justice whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> the man has made a very loose, very gambly call from the small blind with eight and off. He's going to flop the nuts against two pair and another pair. He's probably going to double up. We okay. can't double up, but he's going to he's, well, he's he's win a big pot. He's just flat called here. We know Webster's going to jam. And then what is... I think he might double up, right? I mean, Joshua's going to jam, right? Joshua's going to... Yeah, I mean, Webster's going to jam here, right? Webster's going to jam. Joshua's got a call, at least. Right. Because he should be against, like, some sort of draw, some sort of... Yeah, this is... be a huge pot. Oh, yeah. Where is the chairman? I, I feel like Josh was just going to jam. We know Alexi is he's in there so wide. Yeah, you just need to clean it up, don't you, right? you got to think that, like, yep. It's the all-in. Alexi yeah. won't believe his luck. He's yeah. flopping nuts. <laughs> I was going to double check. Have another look at you, mate. Yep, see what I got. Oh, he's okay. still going to have a think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one chip. Got half to call, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming uh, over. Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> Go from Josh, he can of course still catch an 8 for a chop or something. Happy comes 9 7. Yeah, Webster needs a 7 or 6. 9. 9. Eight. Oh! Uh, now is a. Uh, it's going to be a chop. Webster's obviously still looking for a 6 or 7 for the house. Looks like a 9 for us, so everyone chops. 9 up. for everyone's chop, yeah. That'd be no good. one deserves to win this hand. <laughs> Deuce on the end. Webster taps the table. I'll be off. I'm sure he's not done in this tournament yet, Middy. Regularly in the super high roller scene. He's been crushing here as well. Was it Roswell did, Roswell did well? Uh, and here as well? So I, yeah, I think I don't think he can. Yeah, never, never been. Carlos, King Jack of Diamonds, plus two. He's coming in for a raise. Faraz in the next seat. Ace, Queen, also in Diamonds. Up against a 30 big blind stack opening. Faraz could definitely go one or two ways here. Looks like he is electing for three bet. One fairly sizable as well. 120. Against a 30 big blind open. Uh, can't peel too wide already, so. It's definitely a healthy sizing. Carlos, I imagine with this hand, will peel. And plays pretty well post flop. Wow, what a flop. Both players smash the board. 10-9-4, all diamonds. Carlos is busting. Now, <laughs> how slow are they both going to play this? Is Faraz going to slide out a little sea bet? It's very easy for them to get this in by the river. Signs to bet 80. Carlos, a little bit of room. Carlos could make a mistake here, he thinks. Little does he know, whatever happens, this is going in. Carlos, you'd imagine, just a call here. Allow for us to hang himself. That's what he'll be thinking. No, he's going the other way. He's coming out with a little raise. 100,000 more. Faraz can't believe his luck. Carlos with just over 200,000 behind. Now decision. Does Faraz just get it in here? Is there any point in just flat cooling? Does Carlos ever check raise fold this board? Does he want to get it in now before a scare card comes and potentially kills his action? All in he says, and Carlos says, I've got a flush. Oh, sick. <laughs> well, 
That's as cold as it gets. And I uh, got my snake flash out too, right? I can still catch you eight of diamonds you and seven diamonds. Dead. Yeah, eight of diamonds, seven of diamonds. Dead. That is the only way Carlos has to stay in this wow. tournament. Running seven, eight of diamonds. All four of the big diamonds are gone. All right, good game, guys. Yeah. What's that? Thanks, man. Have fun. With that, Faraz back over 2 million. In fact, very healthy 2.5 million chips in his stack. Another nice hand for Alex Aisking. Alex to just flat with his nines. Paul on the button, likely to be playing this, 10 jack suited. Paul in a easy decision with King Dusov. And the same decision for Lewis with Queen Deuce. So, Ace King versus Ten Jack suited and pocket nines. And the board is eight, four, nine, two spades. We are going to see a very big pot. Yanis, top set, and Paul with a straight flush draw. Definitely going to pick the wrong time to see bet here. Surprise he is actually against two opponents. One of them's likely to have hit this flop. Now, if Johannes just flat calls here, he wants to keep, keep Paul in. Paul might decide to get aggressive with his straight, straight flush draw. And there you go, exactly what I thought would happen. Johannes just made the call, and now Paul wants to raise with his straight flush draw. And no matter what Johannes does, I don't think Paul will fold. Do you know how much did you start with? Like eight? Around about nine million. Nine million, thank you. Well, that's a little bit, uh, oh, well, no, he probably did if he's made it two million. So what a pot we have here, 4.8 million. In a dream scenario, Paul would be sitting there with pocket eights or pocket fours. Are you giving chips out? The only chips he's giving, in it. He'd love it if he just had something like King Queen of Spades or even Jack Queen of Spades, but he has the worst two spades that he could be running into. Ten Jack of Spades with an awful lot of outs. James has just joined me back in the commentary. And and James, what a hand what, this is. No, 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 you didn't see what happened. Uh, Alex raised with Ace King under the gun. Johannes flatted and Paul flatted. The flop obviously came down as it did, and Alex bet out 625. And I expect Paul to call here. And Johannes, I said, if he just flats, I expect Paul to raise, which he did. Yeah. And now all the chips are gone. And look at the size of this pot 18.7 million. Wow, biggest but pot of the tournament so far. With two outs, sorry, two cards wow. to come. Look at the outs that Paul has got. Yeah, uh, Johannes will be six seeing that hand. He has got the worst hand you would want to be up against. Yeah, any other hand even better shape again. That is the one hand you didn't want to see. You see, even with top set, only 58%. Nearly a flip here. Jack High against top set. Oh, no help on the turn. So is this Paul's last hand of his UK millions? Or is he going to get a phenomenal river card? Let's see. Black ace, not the one he wanted. I think it looks like he has some more. So there must be some trading of chips before that because Johannes 
Never had quite a lot. I thought Paul was quite no. short, so I guess <laughs> did Paul get yeah, some? Paul must have won a couple of pots before that. <laughs> had to run out the booth for a few minutes there, Simon. I was running around the floor trying to select our next table. Did you find a good one? Break. Yeah, they were. There's some good candidates. Obviously, the difficulty at this stage of the tournament is the tables break so fast. Yeah. We don't want to choose one that's going to break.